this brings me to the second person that I want to talk about, and that's Dame. Okay, so if you're a frequent listener of the pod, when we first wanted to have a smaller MVP conversation, we talked about Jokic and Dame. Mm -hmm. And I had my entire cape on for Dame. I was flying the flag high. I was like, watch, Dame is going to go on a tear to end the season, and it's going to vault him up in our minds. And then Steph Curry did everything that I thought Dame was going to do. What he always has done. And Dame instead fell off. Dame has fallen off. In the month of April, he now averages only 21 points a game. His season average is 28. Right? So he's gotten worse over this last month. And he tried to talk about this and explain it. He said, look, a lot of people don't watch my games. They just see the stat lines. See how he had 15 points. They don't see that people are guarding me full court Mm -hmm. all up in my face. They don't see that I'm getting doubled at half court trapped. Right. And I thought to myself, who does that remind you of DeMarcus? Steph. Oh, Steph is averaging 40 in April being guarded full court, double teamed at half court. And I'll add he's 0.1 points per game behind Bradley Bill for the overall scoring championship. Look, I, all, all I'm saying is that quote by Dame kind of solidified the fact that he has no chance anymore because he's trying to explain his failings away as if there's not another player in the league being guarded the same exact way. Matter of fact, they guard you the way they guarded Steph. That was the blueprint. Steph is the blueprint for Dame. There is no Dame today without Steph. It was crazy to me. So I think Steph has really kind of killed any chance that Dame has at winning MVP because of what we have seen so far. And the small market is a double-edged sword. You play your games really late. So half the, half, the world, half the country is asleep already. Small market. So that helps you when you're doing a little bit poorly because people aren't seeing those poor performances. But sometimes it hurts you when you are playing ridiculously out of your mind because no one sees those performances. So I'll say yes and no to this a little bit because Steph's also on the West Coast. And I, I watch his games. Not a small market, though. <laughs> not a small market, That's the no. thing. He's on the West Coast, but he's not in a small market. Because I'm, I'm going to watch his games. Or, I'll, or even better yet, Twitter. Just Twitter or Facebook. You're just scrolling. You're doing your thing. Having a nice evening. People are like, Steph is going off. You're just like, oh, I might have to have to check that out. Or I have an Apple TV. It'll be like, close game. The Warriors are leading by three with two minutes to go. And I'm like, mm. I got to click on uh-huh. that. I got to click on that. The Boston game, one of the best oh, games of the season. Yo. Steph showed out and battled Jason Tatum for 48 minutes. And Jason Tatum had an amazing. Jason Tatum is actually on an amazing stretch of basketball right now. 